Hi, I'm Tony Poulos and I am at Mobile World Congress and it's all happening here this year. But today I'm with Luis Fernando Rubio, who is the Executive Director of the Telecom Sector at NTT Data and also Tara Nakao, who is the VP of Global Business Enablement at NTT Data. Gentlemen, great to have you here. I have so many questions for you, but I want to start off with Tara about Open RAN. Open RAN has been introduced in the marketplace now over the last three or four years. But how does NTT Data foresee the Open RAN market evolution and the current challenges that CSPs are facing? Okay, so Open RAN um, has a history, uh, but at this moment, um, and it's not um, expanded as expected in the past, but um, there is a st steady progress, right? So Open RAN adoption uh, is now um, slightly happening. For example, Docomo launched the uh, OREX uh, initiatives it's a, it's, a, it's a great progress uh, in the open run world. And NTT Data uh, is participating in this, uh, uh, the OREX uh, partnership uh, as a system integrator. So um, open run uh, is an open architecture, which means that system integration is a necessity part, right? So um, it's an essential uh, of the, for, the, for the open run world. And then NTT Data is happy to um, and participate in such a position uh, in this open land world. And then looking for the future, um, open land uh, is a bright future. I, I believe and they have a bright future, but then um, there should be um, um, some obstacles um, to be eliminated. So uh, one is the TCO. So the nature of the open land is open, which means uh, there must be a, um, a lot of players uh, who is going to provide uh, uh, network elements, hardware, software, solutions, all kind of stuff. So how much the TCO is going to be is uh, the big concern of the CSPs. So how to break uh, this question um, is uh, the, the key uh, to well, uh, the, be the, uh, the open land to be the uh, successful um, uh, solution for the uh, long world. But, but what do you see as the, the key drivers for future expansion? All right. Okay, so um, at this moment, uh, the, the commercial level open land uh, has a big challenge. So, but uh, once the, the CSP, one of the CSP, uh, prove uh, that the open land uh, can have the enough quality with, the, um, how should I say, affordable TCO, that, that will be the um, big, well, um, the milestone uh, to make a kind of the, the big change uh, in the, the, the pace of the open run uh, expansion. So this, is a, this will be the key breaker uh, for the open run world. And then we are almost there. We are almost there. Entity Data is happy to say that uh, we are contributing this um, uh, momentum. Luis, I'm going to come back to you now. On Telecom TV, we had a recent industry vision report that highlighted next generation digital support systems. And that was a top focus area, of course. But how is your company specifically approaching the development and implementation of next gen OSS solutions to help telecom operators replace those old legacy systems? Yeah, no, I think this is a journey that we started five years ago. I mean, the problem statement was very clear at this moment. Traditional legacy OSS were very siloed, were very difficult to evolve very close, data belong to the vendors, not to the CSP. So there was a huge, I mean, challenge for the telco operator in order to evolve, to change the approach, to move to, to what a, a, a pure cloud native architecture in terms of OSS, uh, data driven, applying AI, ML, in order to, I mean, that the, 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 the keyword is automation. I mean, what to make the network operation. So the approach that we, we that we, we we gave is to start from opening the network inter interfaces, the interfaces of the network management system, to place all this data, to gather all this data in I mean in a in a storage in a data lake, and start playing around with this amount with, with this amount of data. So, so at the end, it's about opening the network interfaces and start moving towards a more data-driven architecture, more decoupled, integrating all the data coming from the different network domains and start implementing end-to-end -end use cases that take care of, of all of the network domains. So this is how we are approaching the new well, I'm going to stick with OSS for just a moment because one of the key challenges with legacy OSS, of course, is their rigidity and, of course, the siloed nature that you talked about. 
But how are you, how are your next gen OSS solutions designed to address this issue in particular? It's okay saying we can do it, but how are you enabling improved agility, for example, and interoperability with the network ecosystem? These are big challenges. Yeah, yeah, it's a big challenge. Um, I think this is something that we are, I mean, we are uh, demonstrating that this is, is something completely feasible. For instance, when it comes to orchestration, to multi-domain end-to-end orchestration, we've been working with a network slicing a technology, demonstrating how it's possible to orchestrate network slices across different network domains, access, transport, core, in a multi-vendor architecture. I mean, just assigning network slices or sub-network slices to the different network domains and orchestrating in an upper layer, I mean, the whole, I mean, network slices. So it's about having the, a deep knowledge of the network management system, of the network, of the network technologies, in order to gather in all this information, I mean, and, and giving an end-to-end flavor to this orchestration, the same pattern applies to inventory and to assurance, I mean. Tara, coming back to you, NTT Data has implemented a few 5G network-related solutions for CSPs as both a business and a digital transformations enabler. What are the key differentiators from other IT service providers that, with you? Okay, so um, NTT Data um, has a wide coverage of when it comes to the industry. So uh, we have the excellent clients and, and uh, almost all um, verticals, uh, which means industries. So uh, we have the, the deep uh, domain and expertise and the insight uh, when it comes to the vertical, which means uh, we can um, address the, the pain point at the, the enterprise client who requires a connectivity, connectivity based solutions. So NTT data can connect the dot, uh, which means uh, connectivity coming from and CSPs and uh, um, take this as a solution or enabler uh, to make it happen. I mean, uh, industry specific solution based on the connectivity uh, is what we can, and NTT data can uh, provide uh, to all of the world. And that and is beneficial for the CSP side and also uh, it's a, nothing but a solution for the, the vertical, uh, which means enterprise clients. So um, we can uh, support the kind of the B2B uh, the business of CSPs having their um, 5G uh, network and, uh, and, and plus, for example, network slicing technology. And then at the same time, we can provide the business consultancy as well to make it happen. So this is a, a big differentiator of NTT data. Well, Lewis, I'm going to come back to you because with the increasing adoption of 5G and cloud technologies now, we're going to go into that. What specific features and functionalities are your next-gen OSS solutions offering to support these transformation technologies and uh, to meet the evolving needs of telecom operators? Because they're not stopping still. They're continuously evolving as well. I think there are several features okay, that they have to, to, I mean, to support. Modularity is clear. Modularity and decoupling, as I mentioned before, in order to avoid the silo, silo historical approach, it's important to decouple the different layers. I mean, providing a, a value in each of the layers that are built upon the data. I mean, another important thing is the automation. Everything related with CI, CD, with DevOps is, is, is basic, okay, because at the end, 5G services will evolve constantly, so the OSS has to adapt yes. to the evolution of the network. So this automation is key. Cloudification, of yeah. course, because at the end, cloud is, I mean, is, is, is fundamental for this automation, okay? In order to give flexibility, okay? And finally, I think it's, it's, it's key, data-driven. They have to be data-driven in order to enable predictive, proactive use cases. So I, I will summarize in these four features the new gen, uh, gen, next generation OSS. Well, this is a question for both of you to jump in on. Given NTT Data's global footprint and diverse client base, which you do have across the board, could you share any insights and regional difference on regional differences in particular in the adoption and implementation of next gen OSS solutions? Are they different? Are the different regions doing things differently at the moment? I, I think it's, it's, 
regionally, we do not see a clear difference. I think it's more about mindset, our strategy within the telco operator. There are operators that are, I mean, more, uh, how to say, more, more advanced in, in, in the, or faster in the decision-making process. Okay, they start prototyping, they see the benefits, and they completely launch to this new Gen OSS approach. Or there are probably more followers, okay, more, more, more reluctant to, to, to start moving to this new paradigm of OSS. So it's, it's probably not about the regional differences because we have seen in different regions follow same approaches, both in terms of adopting, or to be the first in the market of adopt this new gen OSS. Same region, we've seen other tech operators being more reluctant. So it's kind of mindset It's, it's and really strategy. the operator level. We're, we're a cautious industry, aren't we, Tara? Yeah, so um, telecom industry uh, is um, uh, quite different from the other industries uh, because the telecom industry can contribute to other industries, as I said, and uh, uh, this is a very big characteristic. And uh, uh, going back to the, the question, your question, um, the diff what, what, what makes difference uh, between regions or blah, blah, blah? Uh, it's not a matter of the region. Uh, so it's a, a kind of the direction of the CSP. So for example, the transformation. So um, teleco to transform into uh, teco, okay. for example. So uh, it's, a, it's a big direction and it makes a huge change and we need to come to the mindset. And having that kind of mindset, telecom industry can contribute more and more to other industry, right? So NTT is happy to support that kind of a transformation. So uh, we can provide uh, that kind of change management and the business consultancy. And uh, of course, uh, we are IT service provider. We can provide uh, application development, and of course, and the technology development like uh, network sizing and all kind of stuff. Right, so we are into an uh, supporter yep. or partner uh, to the CSP. Those who want to change themselves. Well, Taro and Lush, thank you very much for being with us. I have a much clearer understanding now of what's actually happening in the marketplace, and we've seen so much action here this week. I, I don't know what's going to come out of uh, all the discussions that we're having here. Yeah, yeah. So every time we, uh, we ha every year we can have the MWC and uh, make a kind of the progress report, <laughs> <laughs> and then we need a week to get over it. <laughs> Thank you very much okay. for your time Thank today. You for having us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much.